Hey guys, Hackexploit here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install and use Terminator for Kali Linux. Now, some of you might be asking yourself, why do we need or what the hell is Terminator? Well, Terminator is a Linux or terminal uh, replacement or an alternative. And you might be asking yourself again, why do we need a replacement for the terminal? Well, uh, Terminator gives you a whole lot of options that you don't get with the, the default terminal and allows you to be a bit more robust with your operations using the terminal. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. So the first thing we need to do is just um, install it. And it's really very simple. So I'm going to open up my normal terminal. The irony there is uh, that I'm going to be using the terminal to install another terminal. All right. So, so it's really very simple. We're going to use our package manager apt uh, get install and terminator all right so again if you're not in root make sure you use the sudo or super user uh, i'm already in root so i don't need to enter uh, so get install terminator and once i hit enter it should download it and install it i already have it uh, installed because as i said i use it a lot and this is what i prefer when i'm doing my uh, you know when i'm doing my work projects and stuff like that and i'm going to show you why in a second all right so that's done once yours is installed um you can basically search for it. Uh, so Terminator and it's going to be the red one. All right. So I'm going to add this to my favorites right now. And uh, once I launch it, uh, it's going to open up the terminal. Let's give it a few seconds. There we are. And uh, you might be asking yourself, well, uh, what's this? Uh, you know, it just works like a normal. Uh, it just works like a normal terminal. And you're right. It is a normal term terminal. The reason I use it is it allows me to uh, to have multiple terminals open up in uh, in the same instance so let me show you what i mean all right so if i wanted to uh, if i was working on a different project for example let's say i wanted to start scanning uh for let's say i wanted to open up nmap here what I, and i wanted to open another terminal instead of opening another instance what i would do is i would split it vertically and it would open another one for me all right and then i could uh let's say open uh something like nikto all right, and uh, open that up like so. And what if I wanted to open a, a little bit more? I could split it vertically and open one more there and again split it vertically and open another one. And I guess you guys can see why this is so cool and awesome. It allows you to view all your running processes in one, which is awesome instead of switching from one terminal to another. So I could uh, go for proxy chains here. Uh, chains, um, and I could say um, proxy chains, Firefox, Oops, and like um, like something like duck, duckgo.com, something like so, and it will start up there, and we're, that's good. We're working, and open up there, and in the fourth one we can, oops, msf console, we can open up, uh, oops, we can open up uh, Metasploit there, and it should start up as well. And I guess you guys can see how awesome this is. So it allows you to view your terminal in a more of a robust view and in a split window. And you can see everything running in one. And uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So this is a little quick tip that I wanted to show you guys. And it hopefully it will improve your productivity and your workflow in Kali Linux, which is very, very important, especially as you move on to larger and larger projects. You need to, uh, you know, speed up the process and uh, be very, very efficient at what you do. So I hope you guys found value in this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Again, suggestions or questions are welcome. Leave them in the comment section. Or if you have any personalized questions, you can hit me up uh, on my social networks or on Kick. Uh, for the latest hacking news and resources, check out my website, hackexploit.com or hsploit.com. The link will be in the description. And I'm adding tons of new news uh, and guides to the website. So make sure to check it out for a lot of cool resources. And yeah. I hope this video helped you guys and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.